practice, you spend so much time with the whiteboard, you spend time with the, the video replays about what you do with ball in hand. If you don't have it, get it, rip it, bring it back onto your side and see what you can do. Now, Hetiarachi with a chance. So important that he try and get the, he tries to get this three slot for Sri Lanka. Puts them ahead, of course, in the first uh, half of this. Uh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Just didn't have the elevation, SW. He really had the direction, had the legs as well, but just didn't have the elevation. That's right. And uh, opportunity lost to increase the lead to six. And so important psychologically that you get those points on the board. You settle the side. You make the players feel that their work has uh, been put to good use. Here's Saunders for the uh, Philippines, the number 10, the captain, with a long restart. Collected cleanly by Fazil Maja, his opposite number. Fazil has a thing. Needs to link up. Oh, good tackle. Tries to set the ball back neatly. Not releasing, says referee. That was a uh, good tackle. Good tackle from the Absolute Philippines. Absolutely good tackle, but I thought Fazil took the wrong option of taking up the forwards. Uh, because he had no support, he should have put the ball back into the territory. So here's another chance for the Philippines to bite at this scoreboard. Have a look at this. Fazil uh, just took the option of just running back himself and then got into a little bit of bother. As a result, the Philippines take the line out, decide that they're going to get down the park and try and run from just outside the 22. So uh, good crowd so far. This Saturday here in Colombo, a beautiful evening at the race course, Chang'a. And this ground, I'm telling you, it's such an impressive surface. I was just talking to Trevor Nugavella, who's the uh, curator here, about, uh, you know, maybe getting something for us to play as well. <laughs> so, here we go. Yoshi the Raja Bucks attacking the man coming through. Good to see. He's so impressive with the, uh, the tackle, Sri Lanka. Look at that. Really getting up, fast tracking on their numbers. Philippines a little bit hesitant. Good tackle, nicely done. This is good rugby from Sri Lanka. So committed, so aggressive, and so focused. Good to see. But of course, we need to be able to convert all this pressure into some points, uh, Chang'a. Yeah, they're settling down. They're dictating. The Sri Lankans are dictating terms to the Philippines. But having said that, they, they really have not threatened the goal line. Yes, it's been uh, possession-wise, it's been fairly even. Both sides enjoying the, the set scrums. That first scrum for Sri Lanka was excellent. And here's another opportunity. Sri Bandara just having a chat with Fazil Maja. Good mates, of course. They play the sevens for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka currently number three in Asia. And that's something that they'll be looking to try and better this season with the Asian series and the World Cup qualifiers and the Olympic qualifiers coming through. There's that scrum issue. Chang'a, always tough, eh? Good scrum. Good scrum by the Philippines. Absolute now Sri Lanka must must get their act together because the Philippines will keep doing this and we're going to be Sri Lanka is going to have trouble uh, it's, a, it's it was a good drive by the Philippines back there's a referee just having a quick word with Terence Henry Terence Henry Nama Rajapaksa and Satya Ranatunga really have to get a, lo a lot more tighter with the five otherwise it's going to be all sorts of bother you saw that driving there you go Line up ball for the Philippines again. They've decided they're not going to kick at uh, the sticks. They'll yeah. try and get territory. Yeah, I'm sure they heard about your pleasant breeze across the ground. <laughs> yes. I was trying to uh, get my little two cents worth in Chang'e on the PA system. Um, here we go. The Philippines now driving. Skipper Saunders. Oh, dear. That was excellently done. Really neat, sharp, pre-planned, little grubber through. Unbelievable. Sri Lanka's defense caught entirely, really was in front, and nobody, nobody home behind that defensive line. Let's have a look at it again in replay. Skipper Saunders, exactly. This is a preset move from them. Beautifully done. Absolutely deft little grubber through. And the number 13 for the Philippines, nicely picked up. The ball set up nicely. When that happens, Chang'a, it really is wonderful to see, but terrible for the defense. All that hard work for Sri Lanka undone by one little uh, grubber through. So Matthew Saunders, 
And number 13 scoring off uh, that little grubber from uh, Saunders, the captain. The o Oliver Saunders grubber scored by Matthew Saunders. Sounds good. <laughs> yes, of course. Saunders to Saunders and a try at the end of it. Well, there's the Philippines. Their big support group there. They're happy. Delirious. Nice to see them here in Colombo. Welcome to Sri Lanka. Hope you have a very good time. I'm sure they would have decided to have a water break after every 20 minutes because uh, it's so warm and it's hot. Uh, the humidity is very high. But how, does, how does that happen? You, you agree between the two teams and with the match commissioner that this is going to happen? Yeah, that's right. That's what they agree before the match. Uh, you know, the 20 minutes, uh, they will have a water break. I don't know how far, how long. It's maybe two minutes or five minutes. But because this is because of the dehydration. All right. So uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Sorry, it's a one minute or a two minute, one minute recess for water and uh, ice towels and the rest of it. Just some rehydrates down the throats, just to see that performance levels don't drop. And there's a chance opportunity as well for the uh, skipper, Namaraj Baksa, having a quick word with the Sri Lankan team as to exactly what they have to do. Nice sight around the ground to see uh, young and old coming to watch their country play. Uh, good, good, tough brand of rugby, Changa. Good brand of rugby, but uh, it's Philippines. It's seven points. There's His Excellency the President and the First Lady, of course. Smiles on their face, not quite. The President having a bit of a smile, but the First Lady, very uh, contemplative. Is obviously concerned as to how Sri Lanka will get their points. Two true, Sri Lanka's three. The Philippines have got seven so far. Here's the restart. Almost the number 11 there for Sri Lanka. Joseph Dunn. Joseph Dunn chasing that ball well. Wonderful to see. And this is the pressure you need to put on the Philippines in all sorts of bother. And to add to that, to add to the misery, the Philippines tapped it back. So uh, that can cause all sorts of problems, Shang, as you saw. Look at that. Boom. Dunn there. Picked it up. But nobody there for support. And that one hand from the number 14 for the Philippines. Just uh, getting in the way. So a penalty referee says deliberate. Referee holds up play. Rajpaksa with the quick take. Decides to set it up himself, the skipper. Pick and go from Sri Lanka. Here's an opportunity now. They need to get this right. Sri Bandara saying, where is that ball? Looking for the wide. Fazimada, short side, Sri Lanka. It's right time. Good decision by the skipper not to go for three points. To take the short time because they have been attacking on the move. And the fleet for the fuzzy Marja, no doubt, you give him a gap, he's through. Absolutely. I was just about to say that, Changa. Fazil and Suri do this all the time on the seventh circuit. Have a look at this, Suri, quickly. And uh, good hands. Fazil saw it one on one. Anybody in the world, Fazil is going to have a go. Wonderful to see Sri Lanka get the five and a chance to get two more. Uh, so important. This is what you call converting pressure into points. Philippines under all sorts of pressure. And then Sri Lanka come back very strong. Good reply. Good break. Absolutely. Good reply. A quick reply. That's more importantly. What is important is a quick reply. As we see Hetiar to the end, the two points, as you call it, icing on the cake. Let's see. Yes, very much so. You need to get that two points slotted through. Add to the, uh, the pressure on the Philippines. Outstanding from Hetiar This is what we want. As they say, if Sri Lanka will be screaming and shouting, the stands erupt. Wonderful pressure. Now, they need to settle down and start to play Sri Lanka's brand of rugby and keep the pressure on the Philippines. Absolutely, Sean. So it's one goal apiece and the penalty separates the two teams. So Philippines with the restart. Both these teams with uh, no points on the rankings in the Asian Five Nations this season. Suri Bandara collects underneath it. And uh, from inside is 22. Oh! Now this is uh, a little bit of greasy ball. No pressure at all when you make mistakes like that. Absolutely, but the, the greasy ball or the lights and the lights, whether he had a strong light onto his eyes. 
it's always tough, Chang'e, because once you look up and you get, the, if you get blinded once, it takes so much, uh, so many seconds for you to readjust. And in that time, the ball has come and gone, so always tough. That's why I say all his hats off to the cricketers who are playing under the lights. My goodness, when you see that ball come from two miles <laughs> upstairs, it's always tough. Suri Bandara, what a wonderful player he's turned out to be, not just for Sri Lanka, feared by many on the Asian series, the world circuit as well, because he's now been to the Hong Kong Sevens. Sri Lanka hoping to try and upgrade themselves. Here's Bilal Hassan. Needs to get away, gets away from one, pushes, drives nicely, sets up. Good play. Surya Bandara, Fazi Maja, a lot more confident now. Deciding to have a go himself. Didn't have much option, really. Oh, Surya Bandara, just a little bit of miscalculation there. Didn't quite know who he was going to pass to. Ran across. Trying to look for Dunn on the wing. But uh, ended up giving Philippines the ball. Turnover now. Philippines decide to go aerial. Etiarachi, no pressure at all, runs past two. He's a very counter-attacking fullback, Etiarachi for Sri Lanka. Sri Bandara couldn't get away, Terence Henry popped it too high, in a way he should have just held on to it perhaps. But uh, really, you've got to put your hand up for Sri Lanka and the ability to rock this ball. Nice and solid, pick and go. they can keep this up for at least 65 70 minutes of this game is going to be very good news indeed a little too deep that's right sorry bandara just uh, perhaps he should have kept it in the hands and kept this pressure on the philippines good tackle beautiful Picked up by Danushka Ranjan. Is he going to go all the way? He's got the legs, certainly. Heading for the corner flag. Try time, Sri Lanka. What a beautiful, brilliant tackle. That tackle made the difference. That tackle made the try. Absolutely. We'll see that in replay. Sri Lanka, pressure on the Philippines. Have a look at this. Floated pass. Boom. Beautiful. Fabulous tackle. That just uh, popped the ball up for Danish Ranjan. He's got the pace. And the number 13 for Philippines. No chance. Thank you very much, says Danish Ranjan. His uh, scoring effort, outstanding. Just uh, heading for the corner flag. This young player coming through. This is his first big international season for Sri Lanka. Just made the grade for the sevens as well. Wonderful to see. Rich talent coming through from his uh, college, St. Peter's. Great stable here in Sri Lanka, as are the other stables with Royal and Trinity. Esipatana. All of these schools so important for the equation for Sri Lanka rugby, Changa. St. Thomas's, the skipper come from St. Thomas's. Very true. All of the schools contribute. The Singer Schools League, of course, currently on after a break for Vesak here in Sri Lanka. Very important time as Hetiarachi on target. Slots it through the uprights. Sri Lanka smile again. Nuan Hetiarachi, the fullback for Sri Lanka, the number 15. So good. But we've got to see that tackle again, Changa. That tackle on the number 12. Outstanding. I'm trying to see who it was. Absolutely. That tackle made a try. We'll try and get a replay of that. That really was an outstanding tackle. 17 points to 7, Sri Lanka. So far, it's first half action. If you're joining us, Live on CSN around Sri Lanka. Thank you for the company. Thank you for letting us into your homes. Special day so far. Sri Lanka replying all their critics about what they have to do in the middle and how much pressure they're going to bear on this Philippine side. Philippines with the restart. Ball in. Hetiachi doesn't quite get it away. There's a big up and under from the Philippine fullback. Michael Litz. Taken by Hetiachi. Oh! Didn't quite get the pass, a pop pass that uh, didn't quite go to hand for Yoshi the Rajapaksa. Almost the Philippines at sixes and sevens, Chang are not able to really coordinate their effort. Trust him to give that ball away. Not the wisest thing to do. Here's an opportunity again. 
struggling a little bit with the fitness from the looks of it. They are puffing quite hard, the Philippines. Referee says Sri Lanka is offside. But uh, if you look at that break as well, the Sri Lankan defense. Have a look at this tackle again. This is a replay of the tackle that gave us that try. Have a look at this. One, two, boom. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Still didn't manage to see the number of the player. It doesn't matter because that was a clatter and a half. Just outdone, knocked his skin off in the process. There's that, I think it was a number four, Chang'a, who's just up for a blood bin. He's got a, an interesting uh, tape right across his nose. I've not seen that before. Here's the Philippines now trying to just uh, grind it away, but loses the ball in the process. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, error after error. That is a try. Is that a try? That's a try. That's a soft try. If not for the try, it would have been a penalty try. Because Satya stole the ball. It was, uh, that was, I think it was Satya who stole the ball. And uh, Hasita Pera. I think it was Hasita. Have a look at this. And then the ball just sort of popped back over the top. Fazi Maja tries to get away. He's held. Couldn't get the kick through. And a very soft try. All the Sri Lankans unable to do much about it. Bilal Hassan screaming and shouting. But uh, just a little bit of calm required now because these are the mistakes that you don't really want to go to. This is where you need to calm it down, settle it down again, and start to get out of your own territory, get up the park, and try and play the game. There's that very curious plaster right across his face. My goodness, I can't be comfortable. David Feeney looking like a real warrior. The try scorer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, that, uh, that Elastoplast right across his nose can't be comfortable. I'm thinking you should be able to do something with the, the nasal cavities as opposed to try and plastering all the way around the head. But nevertheless, new, a new a way, a method of doing it as we see it's a keeper Saunders trying to add the two points to make the scores closer. It's a very soft try. It looks good. The flags go up. The two points added on. Well, it's all a bit of a hush around the ground here at the Racecourse Stadium as Saunders slots that Feeney try. And as time rolls on now, there's a shot of uh, Danushka Pereira, Goethe to his mates here in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka 17, the Philippines crawl their way back. They just get back with a snap try and 14-17 uh, now. Sri Lanka will have to rethink about those little errors need to really tighten up in the loose as well. That's something that they'll have to uh, think about quickly in the half time. Five minutes to go. This is first half action if you're joining us live on CSN around Sri Lanka. Here's the number nine with the uh, up and under. Where are the chasers? Bilal Hassan gets away nicely, good and strong. Sets it up for Sri Lanka now. Good set from Sri Lanka. Good ruck ball from Surya Bandara. Hetiarachi, a little chip. He's seen that uh, gap which is exploiting nicely. Referees uh, said, hang on. Penalty. Penalty on the 60 for Sri Lanka. Hetiarachi will have a thing. Namaraja Paksa just asking him. Interesting, Chang'a. I was talking to a few people, uh, some of my mates in England. He was saying it used to be in the old days where when we were playing, or pretty much even last year, where you would get a penalty and then the, the, the kicker would then come up and take the kick and the captain would say, kick mate. But now it's a case of the captain checking with the kicker if he's able to actually kick, if he's comfortable kicking. And that's the confidence you give the kicker by saying, are you okay? Do you want to take this? Do you feel good? You actually uh, check. I think that's a good system because uh, actually that's... That's uh, logical, reasonable. Too true. But of course, it used to be a case of we need to kick, kick. <laughs> There's uh, Skipper Raja Baksa. Responsibility on his shoulders. Nicely done. Taken quickly. Set move. Good gain. Pick and go. There's his brother Yoshita coming in. Oh, not releasing on the deck. Again, we say this, I'll say it again, unfortunately. But these are the errors that we need to cut out, Chang'a. This is what Sri Lanka need to do, to be conscientious about the hard work and the points on the board. 
that's where you need the other fowls to be on their toes.